Astro Timaeus? No, no, just strange for him to not be around. Paimon always sees him standing here. I see. He was called away by Albedo a little while ago. I was called over to attend to the store. If you need any help, just call my name. If not, I'll... I'll be reading a book over there. Mm-hmm. Thanks. No worries. We're all clued up on the basics of alchemy, aren't we? I guess it's no surprise coming from the one who repelled Storm Terror. Actually, since it's you, I bet you're someone who'd be able to help Albedo. There's that name again. Albedo. You and Timaeus mentioned him the last time we met, right? Is he also an alchemist in Mondstadt? Apologies. I never introduced him. Albedo is the Knights of Favonia's chief alchemist. He's also Timaeus and my teacher. But Paimon's only ever seen Timaeus teaching alchemy. So that means Albedo is a teacher teacher? Yes. He's dedicated himself to investigating the truth of this world and has made many an important breakthrough. We often get alchemists coming to Mondstadt from all over Tevat, seeking his help. They say that the subtlest of guidance from Mr. Albedo helps him to solve the most unfathomable of problems. Wow! Paimon didn't know he was such a big deal! Mm-hmm. Still, it seems that he's encountered a problem in his research recently. Every time I see him, he has a concerned look on his face. I'm sure that Albedo would love to hear about your incredible exploits. I know it would bring him lots of new inspiration. Albedo is a true gentleman. He'll be sure to pay you back in equal measure for helping him out. doesn't need any help in that department. But if Albedo wants to pay Paimon back for helping him, a few Mora might settle the score. <laughs> Albedo and Timaeus will be conducting research in the mountains right now. I'd love to take you both to see him, but somebody has to attend to the store. I'm afraid you'll have to go to the entrance to the pass and look for him by yourselves. Look out for a refined gentleman with the presence of a true scholar. And... Um, sorry. That's the best I can do. You'll have to do your best. Hey, stop worrying. We got this. Sucrose is a whole lot less nervous when she gets talking about alchemy and research, huh? Is that what all researchers are like? Let's go and look for Albedo.
hard work is all there is. I've told you already, I don't go in for that kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. Oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my job description. I... Uh, I mean, sure, but... But what? You're the event organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool out of you. Huh? Well, th that can't be. People aren't like that. <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. Don't fret, nobody's gonna blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was gonna show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. You're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've gotta get going. Seems like that sister's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. I thought I heard something. Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? We'd better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. Oh, really? I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly! And as for this outlander you seem to be following... Uh, huh... So it's you... The honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the sisters of Monsta have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Hmm, that doesn't sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? But you're only a traveler. I doubt you have any great skill in alchemy. Whatever. I had a notion of who you were seeking. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No. This is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. 
never hurts to be vigilant. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then, I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. Rosaria said there were elemental traces in the trap. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Definitely write this off as incidental gains. Motion to compel. Another test of <laughs> ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Uh, yeah? After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. This. 
I will end you. Motion to compel. It's a hung jury. But how? Submit for judgment. This is bad. condition. I'm all right. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Huh? Seems like there's more to being a sister in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. Motion to 
Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves painting. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Potential paintings everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? <laughs> you why did you alarm them thank the gods I'd already completed my painting would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly trails unfinished what's up with painting hilly trails what makes them so interesting hmm I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain if you'd like to have a look at my painting it may give you a clue in a hurry. You can find these holy trolls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat, and there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? Mm-hmm. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world, correct? Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm... The essence of life? Whoa, whoa! You wanna start with that? 
Hmm. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. You can do that? However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom... That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. Uh, shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. Mora, knowledge, and the answer to the question you are seeking. It happens to be an answer that I can provide. How does that sound? Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I wonder... Does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? Question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know, but I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Still a little difficult to understand? No! Paimon's got a brain! But what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. Yay! Paimon's holding you to it. Well, let's just say I, uh... Occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. Fascinating. And this floating child is... connected to your body in some way? What a stupid question! Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing, it's Paimon, not floating child! 
I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. Oh, that rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. Hmm... No, that definitely can't be it. Hey! How would you know anyway? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in their research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them, using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six oceanids. Slimes! Slimes are fine! Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. to compel. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There is nothing out of the ordinary. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. 
Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately not all of it is suitable. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. All going to plan, we should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Paimon's still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. <laughs> 